Hey there, Flesh Eater coming at you. I accidentally ended my transmission from the Android and Virus show a little early, so I forgot to post this video. To get my point across, uh, I have actually no idea what we talked about. We kind of jumped from the tragic Elliot Rogers story uh, to the X Men and then the J.J. Abrams new Star Wars Star Wars movie that's coming out. So and and I got my point across about you know because I I have faith in J.J. Abrams doing this new Star Wars movie. <clears throat> Excuse me, because you know I liked what he did with the Star Trek movies, but mainly because I noticed in the Star Trek movies they the events don't happen as I grew up knowing, but that's because that's because they take place in a parallel universe, in an alternate universe. So that's why like Planet Vulcan was destroyed. That's why Spock's mother, Great Amanda Grayson, died. So, I mean, like, and that's why Khan Union Sin was a freaking white guy instead of a Middle Eastern. So, in this new universe that Abraham is conjuring up, uh, it's possible that Captain Kirk could live well into the Dominion Wars, uh, helping to prevent the alien species, the brain, from invading Earth and nearly destroying Starfleet headquarters, which happened in the seventh season of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Because keep in mind, in the future, humans do live uh, longer, which is why in episode one of Star Trek Next Generation and Counter at Far Point, DeForest Kelly made a cameo appearance as Leonard McCoy, who at the time was 150 years old, when in the original series he was probably late 40s so humans do live a lot longer so I have oh, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna pretend that this new Star Wars perhaps will take place in an alternate universe which is why they said that none of I mean this new movie will not follow the extended universe that is in the comic books and in the novels, which in the in which in, in the extended universe, Princess Leia and Han Solo have two kids, Jenea Solo and Jason Solo, who are son and daughter. They're part of Luke Skywalker's new generation of Jedi that help defend the galaxy from whatever evil threatens it. And uh, you might hear music over there. There's a party going on, which I'm going to go crash in after I'm done recording this. So, uh, you might hear laughter, too, from the people out there. Well, they're not going to be laughing when I crash the bucket. Anyway, so I just wanted to clear that up, because I can't stress enough, I have gone to other Star Trek fans uh, who had a problem with Star Trek, the new Star Trek movies, and I, I had to clear this up, because, of, you know, I can't let any other Trekkers out there know that Hey, he didn't fuck up the universe, the Star Trek universe. He created an entire new one. This is a parallel universe. And in a whole other universe, you know, so this isn't like the William Shatner Captain Kirk. This is the Chris Pine Captain Kirk. So it's, it's, it's not the same dude. It's like a fucking whole... It's like if you existed in a parallel universe, different events would happen to you. You know? I mean, and so this is... Different events happened in the Star Trek, in the new Star Trek movies, which uh, apparently they were making, going to make the third Star Trek movie, uh, Abraham's was, but unfortunately they're having budget problems, so I don't know what the hell that means. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to go crash this fucking party. So, they may kick me out, they may call the cops, I don't fucking care, I'm going to fucking crash this goddamn thing. I'll see you guys later, okay? Stay cool, have a good weekend, have fun, drink a lot, smoke a lot of pot, snort coke, do whatever the fuck you want to do. I'll see you later.